start of January the New Year to watch the TC's message on YouTube. If you haven't, we've printed out some sheets which is what they handed out as you came in. Um, and if not, hopefully you've been able to watch it live anyway. Um, but in that, he talked about the theme of covenant. He introduced that as an idea. And the expectation was that we spend some time considering looking at this over the next month or so. Now Faith's going to do a more detailed meeting on it next week, and she might say more about that later, I don't know. But today, you may have guessed from our opening, the pre-meeting music of the images that were shown and the song that was singing, today we're going to be focusing on the woman at the well. We're going to be looking at that story. <coughs> Through that story, we're going to be looking at how God is faithful, how from many, many years ago, God kept, God keeps the promises that he makes. He kept them back then and he keeps them to this day. So that's what we're going to be thinking about today. Now last week, um, Ian read the meeting, but that's my link for the next part. I think for this part is, I'm, I'm looking ahead at my meeting plan, please, please forgive me. Um, we're going to just spend some time in prayer. And we're going to use the song 755 in the song book for our prayer time. Now, it's familiar words. It says, God of comfort and compassion, God of wisdom, grace, and power, hear our earnest intercession. And we do believe God hears us when we call to him in prayer. And he does answer us in prayer. So the verse will come up on the screen. And then afterwards, there'll be a few moments of silent prayer. And then I'll just say a quick prayer before we move on to the next verse. So we're going to listen to the first verse, which Faith's father helpfully played on the piano for us quite hastily yesterday. And um, afterwards, we're just going to spend some time in prayer for the world and for our country. So I'm seven hundred and fifty. Heavenly Father, we just, we come before you now, and we want to bring before you the world. Lord, we know there's a global pandemic happening at the moment. There are so many emotions, so many people working so hard, and our lives have been turned upside down. We're having to do things so differently to how we might otherwise have had to do them. Lord, we bring before you our leaders as they're making difficult decisions. We're mindful that the rest of Scotland, as I've said, can't meet for public worship live in the building. And Lord, we thank you for the privilege which is ours today. So Lord, as people are having to make difficult decisions, as they're struggling with people telling them they're not doing enough and people telling them they've gone too far, we just ask that you would give our leaders the wisdom to do what is right, the wisdom to hold the nations 
of this world in your best interest, if as everyone may benefit. Lord, we know you are bigger, so much bigger than any global pandemic. Lord, in everything that's happening, in our world, in our country, in Scotland, Lord, we want to see people turn to you. Give us the grace to help to play our part, the wisdom to know what you would have us do. For we pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. The second verse of this song says, Some we love their heavy burdens. As we reflect on the words of this second verse, again there will be a time of silence for our own personal private prayer. I just ask that we pray for our community, for our friends and for our neighbours who we know may be unwell or struggling at this time. Lord, we bring before you just now the community which we find ourselves living in, our friends, our neighbours, people we care about here in the Western Isles. Lord, we're all involved with so many different people and we all have placed on our hearts different people we are concerned about. We just bring them to your throne of grace just now. We know there are people in our poor folk who are unwell, and Lord, we pray for healing. We know there are people who are scared, people who are feeling to shield at this moment, people who are shielding at this time and may be feeling isolated. Lord, we just pray that they may feel your presence here with them. Lord, whatever people's needs are just now, for those we have raised to you in concern in our hearts, Lord, we just we ask that you would meet that need right now. Amen. This third verse we're gonna reflect on in a second begins with the words, Sovereign Lord, we bow before thee. And we're just gonna spend some time after this verse. Again, in private prayer, bringing ourselves before God. You know better than anyone what you need just now.
Lord, we come before you today as we are. We bring ourselves before you now. <coughs> we know that you give each and every one of us good things that we do not deserve. And Lord, we thank you for that. And Lord, right now, as we come before you, whatever needs we have, whatever we have just raised to your throne of grace, we just pray, as the song has said, all in you, we find all in, all in, all in you, all in thee. All we need in thee we find. And Lord, whatever our need is this morning, whatever is on our hearts, we just pray that you would meet our need just now. Amen. And we're just going to finish this time of prayer with the final verse. May by grace and peace or shadow, and we make that our collective prayer today. <laughs> instruction. 